Welcome everyone and thanks for joining me for episode 13 of my Manchester United career on FM19. In the previous episode we play Liverpool in the Champions League quarterfinal second leg. We beat them 2-0 and since then I've played just the two games at the moment off camera. The first one being this 2-0 loss against Watford. I did experiment slightly and I know I shouldn't be at such a late stage in the season at such a crucial stage as well um, we did have quite a strong side I, it was just the formation I decided to go quite narrow for this game with a 4-4-2 diamonds I did decide to rest a few players after that big one against Liverpool in the uh, the previous episode and it you know it didn't quite work out for us but there were signs of Understanding something I plan to work on in pre-season. I know I shouldn't have gone ahead and changed the formation, but I did rotate heavily as well for the game. You can see that Lukaku, our top goal scorer, started on the bench. We had a midfield of Fellaini, McTominay and Fred. Quite a slow midfield. And Watford, it was that midfield phase of play. They found it too easy to, uh, to break us down. Then a couple of days later, we were still on the road. We played Southampton away. I reverted back to the 4-3-3, uh, the which I've stuck with throughout the whole of this season. And we beat them 2-1. You can see we uh, saw a lot more of the ball. Charlie Austin just getting the uh, the only goal for Southampton. But Scott McTominay, just before kickoff, decided to put pen to paper and sign a new contract for Manchester United. We've only just finished playing Southampton as well. You can see new contract starting the 24th of the 4th, 2019. And that is today. And we've just got done playing Southampton and he's gone and bagged himself two goals two important goals big three points from Manchester United in our hopes of uh, lifting that Premier League title so three starts in the league three goals he's been brilliant and you can expect to see him feature a lot more come next season big plans ahead for Scott McTominay and because we've now beaten Southampton we've qualified for the Champions League our board have set initial budgets for the summer ahead we've got a budget of 156 million to spend in the summer i've got a good idea on players that i want to bring in you guys will just have to wait to see who they are i'm not going to be going too over the top i'm going to go ahead now and quickly praise mctominay he was brilliant been rewarded with that new contract as well so there's the league table then as it stands we've got three games to go we currently find ourselves Four points above Liverpool. They are trying to close the gap so desperately, of course. We've, uh, we've just got to make sure that we win all of our remaining games. We have got to play Burnley next, which, I, again, I'm going to go play off camera now because I want to get into our next game against Bayern Munich, which is for today's episode. So let's go and see how we get on. Well, we've just beaten Burnley 4-1 at Old Trafford. We haven't been at home for the past week or so, and it was good to... Uh, to get back in front of our home fans and absolutely batter Burnley who are battling against relegation at the moment they only managed to score the one goal and they were a goal up before half time it was quite worrying to be honest the whole 45 minutes momentum certainly in in favour of Burnley but we came out firing on all cylinders in the second half I did rotate for this game Romero starting goal was uh, really good actually 7.1 rating apart from the Goal conceded. You can see Jimmy Garner started too in that deep line playmaker role where Nemanja Matic normally starts. So did Tahith Chong. He started. Not the best of games for him, but I've got my faith in him. Marcus Rashford with an assist and two goals to his name was brilliant today. That's what we need from, from Rashford. I feel as though he's just lacked that finishing touch this season. He has scored quite a few goals. Not as many as I was hoping for, but you can see as well Martial... Got on the score sheet and so did Mason Greenwoods. It was his first appearance for United from off the bench and he grabbed himself a goal. And here it is. It started with that dash from Dallow. Feeds it into Rashford and just look at the ball from Rashford. Absolutely picturesque. Just floats it in. Um, Mason Greenwoods' uh, positioning is just perfect here. Tarkowski, Court, Gibson. They're back four completely oblivious to Mason Greenwood it's like they completely forgot him ruled him out altogether due to his age I don't, I'm just not sure what Tarkowski I mean Tarkowski is better than that but you can see their back four here Greenwood's man on man gets past Tarkowski sneaks in stays on side great control great finish 4-1 
So there's the league table then. With seven points top, Liverpool, they still got to play a bit later on today. But seven points, it's a good advantage to have heading into our final two games of the season. But we've got to turn our attention. You can see Liverpool have just drawn against Bournemouth. So that means just a point will be enough to clinch the title. So we turn our attention then to our next game. It's the Champions League semi-final first leg at Old Trafford against Bayern Munich. It looks like they're going to be without Iron Robin and both Frank Ribéry. Both players rarely got any game time this season anyway. Robin with just four goals and five appearances. They do have De Litt in their team. He could potentially start against us. David Alaba, I think, is their best performing player. Now, Ronaldo Sanchez with the best average rating. He's only made one appearance and scored one goal. Whereas, as you can see, David Alaba featured in a hell of a lot more games, scoring four goals. With eight assists, he's certainly been their best player. Their top goal scorer, Robert Lewandowski, 46 appearances, 30 goals. Romelu Lukaku, though. I mean, looking at their team, they don't have many goal scorers. I mean, yes, they've they've got the likes of Thomas Muller, James Rodriguez. But, I mean, in the sense of not managing to score many goals, they're not in double figures, these type of players, when you expect them to be. It's just Lewandowski that's leading the way. He seems to be the one that's been doing all the work, whereas when you look at this United side, we've got so many more players contributing so much more than what we've just seen of uh, of Bayern Munich. And yet Bayern Munich have just been announced as champions once again of the Bundesliga. So we've got the champions of Germany coming up against, well... The champions elect of England in Manchester United. Let's see how we get on. Here we go then. So it's the first leg of the Champions League semi-final. Still a lot of football to be played. The team news. Frank Ribery out. So is Ian Robben. And Emil Forsberg is doubtful. Their recent form is excellent. As is strong. Should be a really good hard-hitting clash. This between United and Munich. So much history between the two sides as well. We're at Old Trafford for the first leg. So slight advantage to Munich. This is going to be the team. I think I'm going to take Smalling out for Lindelof. I've been thinking about this one. Because Lindelof has had more game time. And I think he's going to be a bit more versatile in the way of being able to keep Lewandowski under wraps. And, and maybe at times coming across and giving support to Eric Bailly, rather three-dimensional character Lindelof, whereas Smalling, more 2D. But don't get me wrong, he's been brilliant so far this season, Chris Smalling for us at the back. Um, tactics, we're at home for this game, so I'm going to go all out. We've got to, we're in front of our home fans. We've got to go for the win. We've got to be attacking. We can't afford to, uh, to be put off by Bayern Munich. I think if we can shut down Lewandowski... I think we've got a very good chance of uh, getting a result here. Let's just check our set-piece takers. Corners on the left side. We do currently have Fred, Sanchez and Pereira, but them three aren't going to feature in this game, so I might have to put Rashford in there, who will be playing on the left anyway, and he can take it with his right foot. So we'll take Fred out for now. Let's put Rashford in. doesn't matter where he is. He'll be taking it because he starts ahead of all those other players. Free kicks, Pogba on left side. Matter on the uh, the right with his left foot. And there's our thrones as well. Right, I think we are ready to get things underway in this game. United against Munich. Champions League, first leg. Let's see who they've uh, they've gone with in their starting lineup. So here we go. Quick rundown then of the United lineup. De Gea, Bay, Lindelof, Dallow, Shaw, Matic, Herrera, and Pogba in midfield. Mata, Rashford, and Romelu Lukaku up top. For Munich then, it's Neuer that takes the captain's armbands. Kamesh. Boateng, Hummels, Alaba, their best player this season for them. When it comes to average rating, they all start. Tolisso, Thiago, Muller, Koeman and their top goal scorer, Robert Lewandowski, all start. Delit on the bench, as well as James Rodriguez, players that can come on, cause a bit of an impact, as well as Goretzka. So let's see how we get on then. We're at home, in front of the home fans. We should be, uh, well, we're in a good position, let's say that. It's all over to you now. I don't want to put too much pressure on the players. I mean, we're in the semi-finals. Still a lot of football to be played before we do reach the final. Just got to make sure we do our job tonight. Both teams coming to this one in good form. It's a very good team. Looking forward to it. I'm just going to quickly switch to 2D. And shall we do... 
We'll do key highlights for now and then I might switch it back to, uh, to extended. See how we get on. And we'll change our match stats. We don't want double there. Latest event scores. I know there's no other game being played, but normally I have the league table on there. Down at the bottom. So not much going on then in the first 10 minutes. Bayern Munich seeing more of the ball. Right, let's switch it to uh, extended highlights. Otherwise, we're just going to be sat here on the screen. Just waiting for a highlight. Hopefully, we don't concede any goals here tonight. We can make do without that, without them getting an away goal. Mata swings in a free kick here. Luke Shaw going to wait for the ball to roll to him, taking his time. Here is one Mata now. It's in for Romelu Lukaku. And his header hitting the side net. And it's going to be a corner. Neuer got a touch on it. It's going to be Rashford to take. Not the best of deliveries, but it's fallen for Pogba. And it's going to be another corner. Neuer probably could have left that. Looked like it was going wide anyway. Mata to swing it in. And it's straight into the uh, the arms of Manuel Neuer. Keeps it nice and safe. That's three shots now. Three on target for Manchester United. Looking good early on. Whereas Bayern Munich, they're failing to do anything with the possession that they've got. 67% on the ball. It's mad. Good pressure here. That's it. Keep it going. Eventually, Bayern Munich clear the ball and Komen's on the move. Well done, Bayi. Brilliant challenge. Wins the ball back for United and now that can get United on the move. Comes to nothing in the end. It's Komen once again. He's going to be the, uh, the live wire for Munich tonight. I can guarantee it down this left side. So Dallo, Bayi, they're going to have their hands full. And it's a header from Thomas Muller. It's a good build up play there. Reaching into the final thirds. De Gea again, I think. Could have left that. De Gea collects it. Both goalkeepers at the moment. They've uh, they've had chances thrown at them. They've been worked a few times. Looking to get comfortable. Neuer obviously performing a lot better. He's had a lot more work to do so far. Try and keep it to a minimum for De Gea, hopefully. Here we go. We've got another throw. Dallow finds Matic. Dallow again. It's in for Paul Pogba. Not the... Uh, the best of efforts seem quite weak. Hummels now. They like playing out of the back, don't they? Passing it between centre half and goalkeeper. Here's Coman. Great challenge from Herrera. Dallow to Bayi. Comfortable from United. Here is Nemanja Matic now. Facing away from goal. Bayi resorting back to De Gea. See if we can give it to Pogba. Lindelof with a good long ball forwards. Has found Lukaku. Emmanuel Neuer off his line quickly, making himself big, saving it. Nothing came with the highlight. Commissioner finds Martinez. I like how quick we're closing them down, putting them under pressure, forcing the errors. Tolisso almost losing out to Bay there. Here's Thomas Muller again. Space for Alaba, their best player so far this season. Gets the cross in. And again, Lindelof. Good clearance. Rashford finds Lukaku. Lukaku in here. Lukaku makes it one. It's a poor back pass from Boateng. It wasn't powerful enough to find his keeper quick enough. And Lukaku pounces on it and gets that first goal of the game. Rashford, brilliant move. Pogba moving down the middle channel. And here's Lukaku. Pulls away from Hummels. Gets on the other side of Boateng. And just hammers it into that bottom right hand corner. 1 0 Manchester United, then that's his 35th goal of the season. Hopefully, that first goal will calm things down for the game in, in total. I mean, we haven't seen too much from, uh, from Bayern Munich. They haven't been that threatening. Yes, they've made a few darting runs here and there, but nothing to worry, De Gea. Not the best of uh, deliveries there for Paul Pogba, but you could see what he was trying to do. Once again, by Munich deciding to play out from the back it's already cost them a goal could cost them again if they continue that especially with the way we're pressing and we're pressing so well look at Herrera again straight on his man ooh Coman's effort just flies past the goal it was swerving as well at the same time I mean we have seen efforts like that go in before Dallow's picked up a knock here. He should be okay. We do have Valencia on the bench if need be. But he will be able to uh, 
be nursed through this game, I think. And there we go, that's the first 45 minutes played then. Been really impressed, the energy, brilliant. Look how we've managed to make David Alaba has won and lost possession more than any other player on the team. He's struggling here at Old Trafford tonight. It's brilliant. I'm pleased to keep it simple in the, uh, the dressing room. We'll keep an eye on Dallo. He's up to 75%. Oh, we just had a, an early chance there again. Missed the, uh, the highlight. Rashford with the corner then. Swings it in. It's looking for Bay. It's going to be another corner. We're just racking these corners up. Hopefully at some point we're going to make them count. Here's Mata to Lindelof. Mata again. Mata's not going to chase it down, but Lindelof is. His coverage of the pitch tonight has been brilliant as well. Victor Lindelof, so happy I uh, decided to start him ahead of Chris Smolin. He's done really well. You can see his average rating up to 7.1. I'm going to switch to key highlights now. Don't want these episodes going on too long. Unless you guys want to see that, let me know in the comments below. Matic swings it in. He's looking for uh, for Paul Pogba. Here is Luke Shaw now. Pogba goes for goal. Just whistles wide. Looking for a, a curling effort. It's got to be something special to beat Neuer from that distance. So we're approaching the hour mark then. Dallow's hanging in there. He's doing well. Look at their attack though. Muller, Coman, Lewandowski. Poor average ratings. We've kept them quiet. Bay and Lindelof doing their jobs. More so Lindelof. And I've got to start thinking, do we just go with Lindelof next season? Have him as our first team centre-half. Maybe bring in a new... I definitely want to bring in a new centre-half. And I'm thinking someone like Harry Maguire. And just asking our assistant here to switch things up. After they've brought James Rodriguez on. They've recognised that they're uh, lacking in the final thirds for quality. And finishing. We've got Lingard that we could bring on. Pogba's not performing today. He's decided he's going to have a game off. I could probably take him off and maybe rest him for our next game against Brighton, which could be our title winning game. So we'll be completely fresh for the uh, the second leg here against Munich. Commission on a move here. It's Thiago through the middle for Lewandowski's fan. Hammers Rodriguez, it's 1-1, but it's disallowed. It's offside. It won't count. Was it offside? It was very close. As you can see, he's onside there and then he, yeah, just goes off. It's a good goal, but I'm happy it won't count. So it's still 1-0 to United. I'm just going to tell the players to concentrate. Make sure we don't do anything silly now. Let's make a change there. Let's take Pogba off and bring on Andreas Pereira. They won't be expecting that one. It's a younger player. Do Bayern Munich know what Andreas Pereira is all about? We're going to find out in the next 10 minutes or so. Right, we're going to take Dallo off. I've pushed him too much. Goretzka's come on for Jerome Boateng. Making their intentions known. They're looking desperate for that away goal. Might have to shut up shop in a minute. I know we're playing at home and I hate doing it. Sule's come on now for Martinez. They've used all three subs. We've got four minutes added on. Four big minutes for Bayern Munich. They need to do something. Otherwise the pressure is going to be all on them in the second leg. We're going to go frequently time wasting. We're going to slow the tempo down. We're going to regroup, hold shape. Out of possession we're going to drop deeper. Yep. And we're not going to press that much. We're just going to hold that shape. We're going to dig in. We're going to grind out this 1-0 win. See how we get on. Should be enough now. Let's go. Very defensive. Seems a bit over the top. Especially with just a minute or so to go. But we know what it's like on FM. But there we go. There's the full time whistle. It's finished Manchester United. One by Munich nil. We've done the job. Professional job as well. We were really solid at the back. We didn't even allow Robert Lewandowski. Their top goal scorer. Sniff on goal. It was certainly a good win. Well done boys. But there's still another big 90 minutes ahead in Munich to look forward to for Manchester United. How are we going to get on that? That is the overwhelming question. Manchester United edge narrow buying game. I didn't think it was that narrow. Yes, they dominated possession, but they didn't look that good. And 
Lindelof picked up the Man of the Match award. Great. So our next game, the next episode, will be that away fixture to Brighton. A point is enough to clinch the Premier League title this season. But obviously, we're not going to be going to the Amex looking for a draw. We're going for a win. We want to finish off the season. Our final away game as well with a win. So that's in the next episode. But for now, that's it for this one. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I'll see you all very soon. Thanks for watching.